It's the WP Minute Plus, your home for long-form discussions with WordPress professionals and industry experts covering our favorite topic, WordPress. Be sure to follow us. Search for WP Minute in your favorite podcast app. Follow this podcast and our five-minute weekly edition. Or head to the WPMinute.com slash subscribe and join the newsletter. I'm told it's like a warm WordPress blanket that gets delivered to your doorstep every week. Looking for all things WordPress? The WP Minute has you covered. This episode of the WP Minute Plus is brought to you by our friends at OmniSend, the top-rated email and SMS marketing platform for WordPress stores. With OmniSend, you'll be launching pre-built e-commerce automations in no time, as well as intuitively segmenting customers based on their shopping behavior and even trying out SMS or push notifications all from the same platform. More than 100,000 e-commerce brands use OmniSend to drive sales and build better customer relationships, converting their customers with quick-to-create, highly relevant emails and texts. Are you ready to start building campaigns that really sell and convert your customers? Find out more at Omnisend.com. That's Omnisend.com. O-M-N-I-S-E-N-D.com. Omnisend.com. And give your brand the boost it deserves. Hey, Chris, welcome to the program. Thank you. Glad to be here. Senior Director of Product Management at Bluehost. I should also mention at the top of the show, Bluehost is a fantastic pillar sponsor of the WP Minute. Without their support, the WP Minute couldn't happen, quite frankly. <laughs> so all of our pillar sponsors, thank you so much uh, for supporting the WP Minute. We're going to t- take a look at the inside of what's happening at Bluehost for WordPress, their pro- their products, how it impacts WordPress, uh, how it impacts WordPress customers, the usability of WordPress, etc. Bluehost Cloud Solution was just announced, so that's what Chris and I are going to talk about today. Senior Director of Product Management, Chris, what does that mean? What's your day to day at Bluehost? It's really working on hosting products, enhancing them, expanding them to meet our customers' needs, making sure the product that we deliver is what the customer needs and what the customer wants. And as customers' requests come in, we work to make sure we get the end of the product. How do you, so this is something I'm quasi-responsible for at my day job, and without you know releasing any secret sauce that Bluehost has with, with how you do your job, what are the fundamentals of gathering that feedback? Because I say it a lot, hey, we got to listen to customers, we want customer feedback, and then we want to bake that into our products because, of course... We want our customers to be happy and we want what they're looking for to be in the product, but that's easier said than done. What does that look like in your world to absorb that and then actually relay it to the engineering yeah. teams and marketing teams? It, it, and it really comes from the customers. Our, our marketing team does a tremendous job of communicating with and from the customers. So you know, we, we survey and we interview new customers we also survey and interview former customers, right? Why did you leave? What did we do? Why did you pick us? What, what are we missing? So, so there's a lot of that going on. For this product here, since it's tiered, it's towards and for uh, professionals, for, for, uh, freelancers and agencies. Last year, we actually went out and interviewed a lot of agencies and understood what is it that you need? You know, what, what does Bluehost not have today that you need? What do agencies demand? What do professionals demand? What is it that you do and do not like about your current hosting provider? So we did a lot of that to really design and lay out the uh, the path for the Bluehost Cloud product. I'm hearing a lot of unscalable things, talking to people, <laughs> sc- <laughs> scheduling time. I think a lot of yeah. us are stuck, you know, because we're in tech and we automate yeah. everything and we zap this and we zap that and we do integrations all the time. So we're like, hey, yeah, customer feedback. I should be able to just get this perpetual funnel happening with this stuff. Just It just comes to us, and, and then it automatically goes into the product. <laughs> you're talking to humans. I mean, you, you're it, setting up calendars. You, you're putting people in front of other people who actually use the product. It's it's probably unscalable, but it's it's worth it, I assume, at the end of the day. It is. It's, it is a lot of work, uh, and parts of it aren't scalable. You know, we, we have raw data. We have this we call the voice of the customers. We track all kinds of data, you know, what kind of customers call in, how often do they call in, how quickly does a a new customer publish their first website, all this data, but the best input is talking to a customer. 
right? And okay, you answered, you know, you picked C on a survey, but what did you really mean? Why did you pick C and elaborate more? So it's a lot of work. It's not highly scalable, but it is completely, you know, priceless. Yeah. I mean, I talked to so many WordPress product companies, people who are making WordPress plugins, themes, and services, stuff like that. And yeah, they, they just have to be able to open up to their customers more. I know a lot of folks who <laughs> who started their product business in the agency world, and they were like, I don't want to talk to customers anymore. I, I just want to do this product thing and sell <laughs> stuff. I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen. You're, you're still going to have to talk to people yeah. if you want the best you know, outcome for, for your organization. Yeah. There's just like this difficult wall that sets between the key people making the product and the customers. It's like, I want to talk to customers. How do I talk to the customers? But at the same time, I as a customer, I'm like, man, I'd love to talk to the product manager for this one because, boy, would I have some feedback for them. And it's not always easy to get that uh, connection made, but it is very important. Bluehost is having a banner year. A lot of products, a lot of new features, functions coming out. Not only does Bluehost support and sponsor the WP Minute, I'm also a customer. I signed up my son for a, a website. He's only seven. And, <laughs> and I tried to get him into starting to blog. And he has a little digital camera. So I'm like teaching him the basics of here, take a photo, upload it to your WordPress website, write about it. So I'm starting to like stretch his muscle of, you know, the creator side, like we're all used to. But you guys have a lot of products coming out. This one in particular is, we chatted earlier, maybe like a partnership slash collaboration with the WP Cloud Solution, which is an automatic product most notably through my friend, maybe Jesse Friedman, <laughs> who you might have worked with before. How, how did, from what you can share, how did that relationship come about and how did you start to think about baking yeah. it into Bluehost? Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing was the product need, the customer need. What do we, what do we need? And we, we blow, Bluehost have a wide product selection today. We have shared hosting, you know, very inexpensive, great to get your you know, your business business card out there on the online and to uh, get your online presence. And you can scale up from there to VPS and we have dedicated servers, but we've, we've not really targeted the agency, the professional freelance market. And we've wanted to get there for a long time. So we've, we've you know, thought about, well, you know, we could go design our own cloud platform, but automatic, as you all know, you know, one of the, you know, founders of, of WordPress, great partners with ours. They've got a product, WP Cloud. It runs some of the largest WordPress websites in the world today. It's a proven product. It can't be beat, and for, we could not beat it in performance. And so let's say, well, rather than spending several years building our own product, let's take theirs, merge it with the experience of Bluehost, our support, our brand, and offer that and allow us to go upscale into these uh, professional freelancers and agency. <clears throat> and so that's what we did. Well, how does the cloud solution, how do you define cloud solution? I used to sell, this is a little, I'm uh, going to show my age. I used to sell uh, web hosting for a company called Pagely, acquired by GoDaddy. Back to, at that time, we were selling EC2 instances from Amazon, right? And it was always this yeah. big thing about elastic cloud computing where the thing would just scale <laughs> and we bring on more uh, virtual CPUs and shrink it down. And everyone was just in awe of that kind of technology. Is that the essence of this? It can scale up and down infinitely at one price. How do you define it? It, 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 it you know, it's you could talk to ten marketers about <laughs> defining cloud, and you get twenty yeah, different yeah. responses. You know, and we had a lot of discussions internally about what really, you know, what do we want to call this? And it is a cloud, so we decided, yeah, we'll call it Bluehost Cloud. But it does it allows that flexibility to first off very high performance. You know, you mentioned you know another vendor. A lot of these. Competitors are built on the public cloud, right? Where you, you, you go out and you get these resources, but those resources aren't optimized for anything, right? They're available for everything. You want a warehouse, public cloud, we got that, right? You, you want a, an iOS app? Sure. You know, they, they've got that, you know, and it's, it's, you know, you can do anything with it, but it's not really optimized where with Bluehost cloud and with the automatic WP cloud, it is from the ground up. Every component is strictly for WordPress, right? 
And so there's been a lot of performance tests done on it, and it's really hard to beat an environment that is built strictly for WordPress. So not just perf um, from a performance perspective, but also the, the cloud piece, it is scalable, right? You want two virtual CPUs or you know two PHP workers, fine. You want to scale to 10, fine. You want more storage, sure, add more storage. So that's the, really the cloud scalability of it. But it's also global, right? We've got the global CDN, so we can cache your uh, content closer to your customers, wherever they are in the world. Data center selection, which we have four uh, origin data centers. Which data center do you want your primary location? Right. And then automatic failover to another data center. Yeah. Right. So all of the um, pros of a public cloud, all that availability, all the scalability, but also the optimized for WordPress. I'm just looking at the landing page right now, bluehost.com slash hosting slash cloud, or go to the top of the primary navigation of Bluehost, go under WordPress, and there's a new cloud offering. <clears throat> Special early access pricing at the time of this recording in late March 2024. The promotional price starts at $30 a month, but then it will adjust to $80 a month for one website, 109 a month for 10 web websites and beyond. Obviously, the value here, the way that I see it, if if, if I'm a agency or even a small freelancer and I have a handful of customers I'm just starting out you know obviously the cloud for 10 sites is the one that makes the most sense you know to me 10 websites 125 gigs of storage 20 virtual CPU compute power is that all isolated for that customer you know the, it, it the is CPUs dedicated, and everything yeah it's it's dedicated to that customer but the customer does the allocation right again talking to her to you know about some work in competition the way they do their infrastructure Sure, you get 10 sites and here's 10 CPUs and they're shared, right? So by the way, you know, if customer A, client A has a big sale this weekend, a big social media explosion on Monday morning, you got to explain to customer B why they were slow because customer A was successful. Here, they're dedicated, right? You have 10 sites, take those um, 20 CPUs and dedicate them how you want to, to those, to those 10 sites. And if you give one customer five sites, those are his CPUs. Those are his PHP workers. So it's, it is assigned that you assign that pool out to each of your sites. Yeah. If you want 10 sites, great. Or if you want to put all the resources into one or two sites, you can do that as well. We used to do a thing called, I'm actually forgetting the phrase of it. I think it was like burst burst compute or something like that. It was probably just a marketing term back when I was selling this stuff yeah. where we would ramp up customers <clears throat> perfect example would be a Black Friday is coming. We have e-commerce customers obviously using WooCommerce. Hey, you got, you got that big sale coming. You can allocate that stuff ahead of time. Yep. And you're kind of giving that power back because, you know, a lot of freelancers who get into this game, they don't, the game of selling websites, <laughs> they don't realize that, mm -hmm. you know, the technology, the reliability, and it's not just a one size fits all. And, and I do like that approach because you could isolate your e-commerce customers that you know are really going to hit the yep. system hard because even a baseline e-commerce site is using much more resources, memory, and CPU power than, I don't know, your small business accountant. You know, you built her a five-page yeah. portfolio site. It's not really doing much. Once it's cash, it's cash unless she changes something. But an e-commerce store, right. transactions, going into the car, adding stuff that's not cacheable or you know, from the front end. Just logging in. Yeah, just logging in, right? <laughs> 7,000 <laughs> messages coming up from all the plugins you've added. Yeah, it's very yeah. smart to isolate those types of stores and, and good practice yeah. for an agency owner. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and you mentioned bursting. We do have, you know, we do offer bursting. So it's it's not marked front of site, but if you assign 10 sites, 10 CPUs to a site, um, we give you bursting capabilities, which is basically take advantage of all the unallocated CPUs that machine. Right, so we we under provision every server, and it, and if you need the burst, you know if you have a big surge and you got ten there, we'll give you what you need that's available on that server, so you can actually handle very large loads. Well, the ten CPUs are you know there's a these are very high frequency you know top the line CPUs. They'll handle a lot of work, but we'll also allow bursting to take advantage of even more capacity that's available. Is that does that go into like a different pricing structure? No, no pricing structure. No, it, no, no, no. It's it's if you get the ten CPUs in that site and they're available, it's there for you. Could you uncap? That's the other big thing. Not now. Yeah. It's it's you know we may do some more work down the road. Again, we're talking to customers. What do they you know what do they need? Is this a feature we want to be able to you know 
buy it, right? Give me, give me bursting for 48 hours, right? Or, you know, this is going to be a big month for this picker client. Let's give them bursting for a month, 24 seven, those, those types of things. Yeah. yeah, I know. But that's yeah, one of the, one of the approaches we had here when we, t- we mentioned earlier talking with the agencies was the, was the pricing, right? A lot of times it's, well, add on for this, add on for that, add on for that. This is one price, all inclusive. SSL certificates, backups, real-time backups, failover, the malware scanning, all of this included. You're, you're not going to get all this, you know, add here, add there. And the price you see on the screen at blues.com is the price you're going to pay. Yeah, It's not going to be, oh, by the way, at the end of the month, you exceeded your bandwidth or you exceeded your visitors. There is no extra charge for extra, you know, exceeding the bandwidth or visitor limitation. Yeah. I mean, age as a, again, as a recovering 10 year agency owner, <laughs> being able to predict your, obviously your, your monthly hosting bill is uh, very important. And uh, I can only imagine what it's like to run a agency these days. I think, I think hosting, you know, for agencies is a smart thing, or at least being the point person, as long as you're being transparent with your customers. I remember in the early days, I was just like, oh, yeah, we're hosting it, you know, and everyone, okay, fine, here's the money. I wasn't hosting it. I, you know, I was reselling it or I was probably back then I was using, you know, Linode or DigitalOcean. I can't remember when, when I first started the thing. But as soon as I started getting more customers, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm not going to tell that lie anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to be transparent <laughs> with everybody that here's my hosting partner, whatever I, you know, verbiage I came up with. You're paying me. You're paying me the the monthly hosting plus the the service because you're not they're never going to contact the vendor. You're going to pay the premium to have me, you know, deal with the hosting essentially. And I think it's still smart that that agencies do that. Have you all built in like a white label invoicing or pricing to allow agencies to do something like that? We we have not. We do have the what we call the cloud one plan, which is a single site. And so what, you know, if if an agency doesn't want to manage a customer's billing in sight and they want to, the customer to do it themselves, the cloud to do it themselves, there is ability to spin them off onto the cloud one plan and allow them to have their own billing. You still have access to WP admin and manage the account, but then gives you your customer, the client, the ability to do their own. Uh, um, and they'd, they'd have like hosting. access to it, like a sub account or something like that. Right. That's cool. That makes sense. I like that. You mentioned backups and malware scanning. Is that powered by Jetpack or is that Bluehost owned? Yes. Cool. Nope, it's, jet, it's Jetpack. Does the end user jet, also uh, have to sign up for a Jetpack billable account or that's all it's included. encompassing? No, and that's one of the values included. of WP yeah. Cloud, I think, right? Right, right. So we, that's what we, we packaged it is, you know, just, you know, full, it, we're really targeting at the agency. We don't want to worry about that we get backups automatically there. It's on. Jetpack backup, you've always got real-time backups. You know, if you want to go back an hour, you go back three days. It's in, it's there, it's included. Malware, there, included. You know, it, it's all, you know, don't have to worry about, do I have to go back and add something else later on? And it is Jetpack, so the security piece, the backup piece, it's just native within that cloud platform. All right, so now let me, let me drill in just a little bit here. There's a magical number you have on the landing page that I'm sure everyone in the room was like, should we really say this? (laughs) 100% guaranteed network uptime, correct? Infrastructure, the servers, the probably the the CDNs around the globe, right? Failover, all this stuff. Doesn't necessarily mean if somebody nukes their own WordPress website that that is accounted for. But the 100% is, I I didn't see that in any other Bluehost offerings is specific to to this cloud product. It is. And there was a lot of discussion about <laughs> that, you know, and the legal team yeah. was it was very involved. A lot you of know. red lines and on it, that but, contract. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Back and forth and back and forth. But we wanted to stand behind it. We wanted it. We was like this this is, you know, we have the multiple data centers. We've got the automatic failover. We believe in this, right? So it's there and we're backing it up. So if, if you experience the downtime, you contact us and we will give you that refund. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, peace of mind, you know, the, the agency 
again, like that when you're you're picking a solution like this from an agency. I mean, let's pretend that you're interviewing me as the agency owner because <laughs> I get a lot of ideas for hosting for for agencies. You don't want to. You don't want the call in on a Saturday afternoon. You know, you're at your kid's soccer game and your customer calls up and they're yelling at you because their WordPress website is down. When I started my agency before I had kids, I was out late the night before. I don't want to be woken up early <laughs> in the, in the yep. morning having a customer yelling at me that their website is down. So these are choice features or values that, you know, an agency owner should be looking for, you know, when they're, you know, when they're making the right, the right pick for their hosting company. Yeah. You know, if I pay, you know, three bucks, five bucks a month for shared hosting, you know, maybe I don't expect it to be up, you know, 24, 7, 365, 100%, right? And you should maybe expect that your noisy neighbor is going to cause your performance issues for your shared hosting, you know, basic website. But when I move into this professional realm, your clients expect not only fast performance, you know, they want the high rankings and everything else, but we don't want to see an error that the site's not available. We want it to always be available. And that's our promise here. Let's just talk about staging sites. That's always a thing that comes up. How does staging work with the cloud? And does a staging site also take up a seat uh, in somebody's account? Yeah. So we have the cloning capabilities and we have staging. Uh, staging does not count against you. So for each production site, you get one staging site. So a cloud 10, you get 10 production sites and 10 staging sites. That's fantastic. And uh, I assume it has all of the same sort of like deployment mechanism. You can copy over uh, a live site to a, a staging and then just push the whole site back. Yes. Yeah. Today it's, it's a, it's a simple cloning process, but we're also you know, as part of the pipeline as we're adding more features is creating that full development life cycle and that's on the roadmap. Yeah, that's very cool. All the AI onboarding features, is that all baked into each individual site? The, the wonder suite that Bluehost has, is that all part of this as well? When somebody spins up a site on the cloud hosting? So as an onboarding, no, okay. right? So, you know, this is professionals agencies, right? They typically, again, talking to them, they don't want their hand sure. held as if they're a brand new person or a brand new so we give them the base WP admin functionality, but all the AI, Wonder Blocks, Wonder Suite, all that functionality is there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah there's a, I don't know how much you've, you publish in WordPress in general, but I publish a lot and there's a, there's a default setting, at least in the 2024 theme, where every time you create a new page, it always brings up the pattern uh, selection yeah. every single time. <laughs> it's like, man, I don't need that yeah. <laughs> i don't we're that expert option yeah, yeah get, get out of let here. me just dismiss this forever once is fine yeah okay and then i can just opt out of it but man every single time a lot of people say oh what's the big deal it's because like when you're when you do this a lot like you're just whipping around the back end of wordpress like i just need to add this page because i'm gonna do something else and you're moving on to another thing and it's like oh wait wait for these patterns to load so yeah, yeah that cool that's cool that that makes sense do you work with sort of, you know, uncovering a little bit more of the internal Bluehost process? Do you guys work with the cloud product specifically with the core contributor team that Bluehost sponsors to see how they can sort of maybe optimize this solution a little bit more? Or are they kind of like, eh, you know, we don't really need to see this because no. we're backed by automatic? No, we're actually, we actually use, use interact with them a lot and we take their input a lot. In fact, you meant, you uh, mentioned staging and, and the promotion capabilities you know, we're taking a lot of their feedback as well because you know all their time they spend development they work with agencies a lot they work with a lot of the other contributors a lot and so we really take a lot of their feedback and how does this life cycle how do we you know automate this life cycle and so yes we yeah. had a lot of involvement with them with that team that's fantastic you'll be hosting a uh webinar with uh devin sears community point of contact for me here at the wp minute and for a lot of folks uh in the community this episode will air after that but i assume folks will be able to get a recording of that webinar if you want to learn more i'll also link that webinar in uh, the show notes because i'm sure there'll be like a q a section in that webinar yeah. and if really? you want to listen to chris and devin talk about that stuff a little bit more 
I'll link that in the show notes. Chris, it's been fantastic learning a little bit more about what Bluehost has been up to with this cloud solution. Really interesting to see it all come together with the WP Cloud Solution. I'll also link up my interview with Jesse Friedman in the show notes below. Chris, where do you want folks to go to say thanks, to learn more about you, or to learn more about the cloud solution? Well, you can find me on Twitter, Tall Kids Dad with a Z. So feel free to reach out to me there. And uh, yeah, we would love to have some interaction and see you there. Awesome. You know, one, one other thing I didn't mention, you know, one of the other hallmarks of the Blue House Clo- Blue Post Cloud product is support. You know, there's one thing that brings Bluehost front and center with a lot of people, people with WordPress is the experience. We've been with Automatic. We've been hosting WordPress for a very long time. When we rolled out this Bluehost Cloud product, we wanted to be different. We wanted to be head and shoulders above the rest. And so we built a dedicated support team specifically for this product. Right. So if you are using a Bluehost Cloud, you have a question, you call that number or you chat, you'll go directly to a WordPress expert team rather than the typical tier one support team. Yeah. So that really sets it apart from a lot of the others that are out there. And it's not, you know, well, you don't have to, you know, pay extra for it or only have the top tier. If you're a Bluehost Cloud customer, you get direct access to this WordPress expert team. Would this be considered, this actually, that unlocks another question. Again, thinking back to my days in the hosting industry, would this be considered Bluehost like an enterprise solution for customers who are requiring a higher level? Or is there even another step above this that many of us prosumers so don't interact we're, with? we're going, it's a great question. We're going out market right now. Right now, we are not targeting enterprises, right? We are targeting, you know, the, the agencies and the professional freelancers. We expect to get there, right? We will offer a a la carte package, right? Uh, you know, I'm a large agency. I want 300 sites. I want 200 CPU or you know, 600 CPUs. We will offer that. Yeah. But right now we're, you know, starting here at the agencies and working our way up and listening to the customers and what they want next. Yeah. Is like choosing a data center still a thing or would this solution is just yep. everywhere? Okay, cool. No, you, you choose your primary data center. There's four of them, three in the U.S., one in Europe. And then you're, you'll have automatic failover to another data center in the event of a failure. Fantastic stuff. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. Thanks for hanging out today and letting us explore a little bit more about Bluehost Cloud Solution. Everybody else, it's the WPMinute.com. The WPMinute.com slash subscribe is the number one way to stay connected. That's it for today's episode. Get the weekly newsletter at thewpminute.com slash subscribe. Want to support the show and join a Slack group filled with WordPress professionals like you? Talk about the news, share your WordPress business content, and network with others. Head to thewpminute.com slash support and get access to our group. Support the show for as little as $5 or more if you feel we provided more value. Thanks to our pillar sponsors, Pressable, Bluehost, and Omnisend. Thanks to our Foundation Plus sponsors, WP World, Image SEO, and Hostinger. Thanks to all of our annual supporting members and you, the listener. Without your support, the WP Minute wouldn't be possible. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.